hello guys so welcome back to my channel it's a girl amidia here and just in case you're seeing my face for the first time you're welcome to join us so guys today we're going to be reacting to uh Bilbo's brother used to record his parents argument Ooh. let's check it out guys this is from uh, team coco of course it's on conan I have empathy for like kids and animals. Oh, okay, that's nice. That's it's a nice start. It's that's something. a start a kit. It's yeah. something. That's that's a step in the right direction. Ooh. I'm sorry. No, they <laughs> say Jesus. I didn't mean no, to. No, they say that's. No, you know what? I'm old enough to. I'll never satisfy you. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, a they, step in the right direction. They say that that is what uh, would separate you from, say, a, a sociopath, a serial killer, is that you care about animals, you care about children. So that's that's good. That's good there news you go. for you today. Because I've taken those polls. You ever see that poll? Are you a serial killer? For the test. Yes, I, yeah, have, after ta the fourth I have taken that test. It has not gone well. Yeah, exactly. After the fourth question, you're like, all right, let's, uh, I don't know. I don't need to take this. Do you laugh am, am at the I pain and misery of others? Um, <laughs> I think we got that one. If it's on TV, and I don't, like, look, I don't, I'm trying to think of something. Uh, yeah, no, I think I do. Every time I saw that guy wipe out on his scooter. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was, f it was amazing. <laughs> he was this older guy. <laughs> well, that's always funny, though. Falling, people falling an old, always. Wait, an older that. man was on a what? He was on a scooter? He was on a scooter. He was riding like a Harley, and he like he came whipping out. It was one of those, I was on the other side of the road, and there was this concrete divider. And he, he just, he was going too fast, and he couldn't make the turn. And he hit the, 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 the concrete thing, and he high-sided and oh. went like up and over. <laughs> Just like landed and just slid on his face. Oh my god! And I had to like, oh I had to stop my car, right? Uh -huh. And I was the first guy there, and he had rolled over on his back, and I walked up to him, and he was just like, unconscious, just going like, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like spitting teeth. Well, get to the funny part. Oh my god! Funny, the funny part is when this cop finally shows up. The guy was like fucking like 55. It's like, should he have been retired by now? When did you start becoming a cop and you're still driving a cruiser? <laughs> so he pulls up and just completely could give a fuck. He just walked up to the guy. He has hands in his pockets. And he just looked over and he just goes, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. I you know, relate just... to this. When I was a kid, I don't know if you ever saw this, but there was. Uh, some Christian network. Back then, not, there was nothing on TV. There right. were a couple of channels. There was never anything good on. And there was this show that we used to watch that was made with uh, sort of claymation puppets called Davy and Goliath. Oh, yeah. And they always supposed to have a good moral about how to behave. Davy was a boy who would sometimes do naughty things. And then he'd learn his lesson. And it was put out by some association of ministers. I swear to God, my brothers and I would watch this. Because there was, <laughs> you would flip the channel. And they're bowling on one channel. And there's a Catholic mass on the other channel. Uh, so you'd watch Davy and Goliath. Because at least it was a story. And there was some claymation. Right. Anyway, Davy, <laughs> Davy and Goliath go camping with the dad and the mom. <laughs> and Davy goes off. And he sees a well. And... Uh, or he sees a, a beautiful natural pond, and he finds some paint, some raspberry paint, and he pours it into the pond, <laughs> turning it all bright, you know, red. And it's a big bucket. And, yeah, huge bucket. Well, it was a little, little pond. And then he's laughing. He says, look, Goliath, I made a big thing of raspberry goop. And then the father comes in and yells at him and says look what you've done and the, all the animals are gathered around and they can't drink from this pond anymore oh, because brother. it's been ruined my brothers and i were laughing so hard. <laughs> we were crying we were laughing so hard i'm telling you i understand exactly what you're talking about he i think these animals ended up dying <laughs> And my brothers and I are on the floor laughing oh that Davy had said, look, I made a big thing of strawberry goop. It's terrible. I'm sorry. but There's that... no reason to apologize. Yeah, they were, they were claymation animals. No, there is. Like nobody there died. Is. You know, we 
Did you ever pour raspberry paint into a pond? No, I so saw that. Fine. But if I had to, you, you can know. sit there and laugh. You know what I loved is when Dave, when Davey, every once in a while, would get into a fight and he would get the shit kicked out of him. Uh -huh. His because it was claymation, it didn't have the, the the money. His hair was still perfect, and then they just put a couple of strands of clay on his forehead <laughs> <laughs> to indicate that Davey got his ass kicked. <laughs> These are they the have no idea what we're talking about. This this show was on 65 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> but this is I'm trying to explain our childhoods. This is what it was like back then. There's nothing to watch, nothing to do, and occasionally someone in the house would lose their temper in a way that would frighten you, and then it was never spoken about again. Yeah. Yeah, that was basically, that was it. My brother, I, I don't know if I'd ever tell you this, my brother was like a genius, man. He used to, my, my parents used to argue. He had a, he had a, uh, a dual cassette boombox, and he used to record the argument and then put music underneath it. <laughs> And one of the greatest ones ever was he put Led Zeppelin No Quarter, which has this really, John Paul Jones plays this haunting keyboard. It was right, there. It, it, like, it was scored yeah. perfectly because it started off slow with them going back and forth and then gradually, <laughs> and just Robert Plant, close the door, put out the light. <laughs> <laughs> and right as Bottoms drums, ba -da -ba -da, came in, my dad, oh, fuck, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Dude, we used to listen to that fucking thing for like years. And then we finally played it for my dad and he laughed his ass off. He's like, oh, he he liked it. I thought it was hilarious. He thought it was fucking hilarious. He never understood anything. We had him watch the great Santini one time, hoping that he would get it. And he didn't. He ended up just loving the movie and just walking around going, I am the great Santini. We're like. No, no it's about to... a dad who's who's very abusive to his son. Yeah, who loves his family but doesn't understand that he's slowly killing everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And your dad watched that and thought, "Thank you for showing me." Oh, he thought this was... uplifting film about it how was... we should all behave. It was like Sleepless in Seattle too. <laughs> <laughs> when Harry met Sally. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> I love I love this set where Bibo is like. I love this part of him, and it's obvious that him and uh, Conan they've got great chemistry. You guys can see, like, I love how they're syncing it into each other. Oh, this is amazing, guys! <laughs> that would have been this brother, girl. I, I'm just imagine <laughs> what it must have been like for them. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourself. Be you, do you, but do not conform and be happy because everything's gonna be alright. So don't worry, guys. So I come in and say, guys, bye.